I've been getting a lot of comments from people who just found out about Sea of Heroes and veteran players who found out about the private servers. And they're wanting to know, how do you play Sea of Heroes in 2022? I'm Controlled Chaos and I'm going to show you exactly how you play Sea of Heroes in 2022 on three different servers. Now, the links for each of those websites will be down in the description below along with their Discord servers so that you can ask any questions you have in case you need more help getting these games to run. First off, let's start off with Homecoming. Homecoming just has a forms. And here's the Homecoming website right here. When you get in here, what you'll want to do is you'll see this area like right here. All you do is getting started. You go to the installation guide. You click on, if you're for Windows, click on this left side where it says Homecoming Launcher. If you're on the Mac, you click the, the here in there and then you install it. Once you've installed it, you also need to sign up by clicking on sign up in the upper right hand corner. And then basically it'll ask you originally for your date of birth and then it will ask you for display name, email address, password, confirmed password, and you know, just security questions. And you're pretty much done there. Once you have the launcher installed, you'll this is what the launcher looks like and you'll just click on homecoming and we'll download the game for you and then you just click on it and you'll be brought in to the login screen where you put in the username and password and it's really nice and simple it automatically will update every time you launch the uh, launcher for homecoming now let's talk about the next uh server this is Thunderspy. Thunderspy recently updated their website and they've done a great job. They made it easy for people to figure out how to play. All you do is once you're here, just click on the play now. It'll scroll you right down to how to play and create an account. So they use the Sweet Tea Launcher, which is their own launcher. And it's a pretty nice launcher that has some good perks to it. First off, just follow this. If you're using another launcher, like let's say Sunrise or Tequila, they give you their manifest address. The manifest address is basically the web address that tells your computer what server to connect to. That's what this is right here. So you basically would copy this and put it into the launcher you want to use. Now, when creating an account, you just click create account. It'll ask you for username, password, verify, you know, email address, uh, password, and then verify password, create, done. And then you can use that. Now, with the tequila, or not tequila, with uh, sweet tea, you're going to be given a bunch of these. And it comes with Thunderspy on it already, it comes with Unity on it already, and it comes with Rebirth already on it, which these are all different servers. So this is very, very helpful. And this is one of the reasons why I like Sweet Tea because I do jump between different servers. If you're playing just one server and one server only, then use what you prefer for the launcher if it's not required a static launcher. Now, if you do like things like Sweet Tea, all you need to do is if you find a different server that you like that came out after this video is done, just click on options, put in the address here, click add, and it'll add it to this list and it will show up in here. And that's really, really great. And the cool thing is, is let's say you are jumping between servers. So I was playing on Thunder Spy, but now let's say I need to play on Rebirth to join some friends or they have an update that I really like. You'll notice that the launch button is grayed out. The reason why is it needs to go through and it needs to re-verify the files and make sure that the files on your end are up to date with what the server has. That's the reason Sweet Tea does this, and that's a smart move. Otherwise, you'll get a lot of error messages or have problems connecting to the server, but then you'll notice that the launch button is now live. Click on it, and just like on the homecoming one, it will take you to the login screen to pin your username and password for that server. The final one I wanna talk about is Rebirth. And Rebirth, let's go back to home. So Rebirth here, 
it tells you that it best runs on Sunrise, but you can use Sweet Tea and it gives you the manifest in here and stuff like that. To create the account, you just click create account, put in a username, a password, boom, done. Then you can log on to the Rebirth server. Those are the ways that you can play City Heroes in 2022. I hope this video was informative and have a great day.